Hello and welcome back to my channel, my name is Jay and in today's video I will show you how you can do server-side authentication uh, with Superbase and Next.js. In one of my last videos I've showed you how to do this on the client side, but this is not the preferred way anymore and therefore this video I hope you enjoy. So what's going on? Um, we have created the last time our sign-in, sign-up form on the client side. But now we have a problem because let me show you this in a diagram. Um, so we log in, we have then the information about our authentication session on a local cookie. But if we then try to fetch some information, this fetch is like from a server component and there this information about our current user does not exist. And therefore we get no information back. So what, what's now the preferred way of Superbase? Superbase provides us now a SSR package. And whenever we want to create something or fetch something on the server component, we get or use the server client. And whenever we are on a client component, we use the browser client. And here's also a tutorial from the client authentication to the server side authentication. And we will do this now together. Let's start. So the first thing that we need to do is to install the package, SSR package. The second one, set up the environment variables. I guess this is clear. So make sure you have your Superbase URL and the anon key in the .env.local. The third thing that we need to do is to write the utility functions to create the Superbase client. So this is what I've showed you in the diagram. We now create here the client coupon client to assess it from client components and then the server component client to assess it from server component server actions and road handlers. So here we have the code for the client components. I'm going here to lib super base and create a new file called browser-client.ts. Copy and paste this one here. The same for the server. You can see there's a little bit more, but first let me create a file. Let's call this server-client.ts. We copy over this bad boy here. And what we are returning here is the create server club client from Superbase SSR. First parameter is Superbase URL. The second one is the anon key. And the third one is the cookie strategy. So how we would like to handle the cookies, the get set and the remove. That's it for this part. Then we need to hook up a middleware this is responsible for refreshing the off token, passing the refreshed off token to the server components and passing the refreshed off token to the browser. So it's okay. Therefore, we go here to the middleware part, we copy this, replace it. And here in the middleware part where we, you normally write your Next.js middleware logic, we are returning the await version of the update session. And we see the update session is coming here again from the util super base middleware. And here is this middleware. So we copy this and then I'm creating here a new file called middleware. And you can see how in this code, the set remove and get function are a little bit different from the server client one. Now we need to save this again here, mm -hmm. update session. Uh, I have another import. Let's mm -hmm. fix this. And now the last part is, is it the last part? Now we are coming to the last part. Now we need to modify our sign in form. And what's important here is we need to shift these sign in functionality to, to the server. And we do this by defining this part as a server action and calling the server action then from the unsubmit. And how to do this? Well, actually, <laughs> if you're lazy like me, I just pasted in this whole client component and then I asked ChatGPT to create me like the server action out of it. And therefore we create in here in our off folder, a new folder called actions. And then there I create a new file called off. And what's important here is we need to the first line indicate that all the functions are here in server actions. And then I copy over what ChatGPT gave me. So we have then here the sign in action that is taking the values. It's inferring from sort from the schema from the sign in schema and that is coming 
from our form still what's going on we need to export this yep let me export this schema are we importing this and from here i'm yeah calling the create server client this is the file that we recently created and i've done but it was like this when the camera was off only here we are getting the server great server client from superbase right but i wanted to instead of create client i wanted to have, be explicit in the naming and therefore wanted to export create server client but this is on a conflict with this import here from superbase and what i've done here i gave this one an alias so create super base server client okay and take this alias return it here and so we can export our create server client i find this is more makes more sense because here in the browser client we have a create client and in the server client we return create server client right and this is what i'm making use of here in the server action so we are creating the server client now we're in a server action and calling the the, the client with to log in and if everything is okay we return success sign successfully signed in and if there's an error success falls with the error message now we grab this action here and then we can basically delete this part here and we can remove also the create client component here and then we call this sign in action yep passing in here our form data and what we are getting here back is the it let me import this yep message and a success indicator and if there should be success what's we return the message otherwise we say success and sign in successfully and let's try this out so we are still here to our account page okay that you can see that this, this is still null then we try out the new functionality let me make this a little bit bigger and now the final test yeah! okay yeah it worked and that's basically it how we change the client side authentication to server side and yeah, what's still missing is of course the sign up form but this is a little homework for you if you would like to do this as a practice and if you need help then please reach out to me in the comments that's it for the video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe it really means a lot to me and see you next time